Welcome back to this lesson. So today we're going to be talking about histograms. So before we begin, um, this is probably the first time you've ever seen a histogram because this is introduced in sixth grade. So this is a bar graph, which you've seen since elementary school. This is a histogram. How is the bar, how is the bar graph similar to this histogram? So think about it. How are they both similar? Well, they both have bars. Mm. They both have numbers to the side. They have labels for the x-axis and labels to the y-axis. But now, how is the bar graph different to the histogram? Well, notice how the bars here are connected between each other. On here, there are gaps between. So there are no gaps and there are gaps. Notice how this bar is specifically for Spanish. This bar is for Chinese. This one is for Hindi. These are languages, by the way. While in this one, it says there are 60, I assume it's countries maybe, or 60-something six, countries that are between 60 to 65. So this shows an interval range. It ranges from 60 to 65 of the year. So from 1960 to 1965, uh, the GDP in percentage is 60. And from here, from the year 75 to 80, there were 90, 100 uh, GDP in percentage. So here is the here are the differences and similarity. In a bar graph, there are gaps. In a histogram, there are no gaps. In a bar graph, these are about categories. They list these. Each bar tells you exactly what it is about. While in here, it has number ranges. Another word is intervals. Um, it ranges from 100 to 150, 150 to 200, 200 to 250, 250 to 300, 300 to 350. So let's see if we can answer some questions. So they both show the weight in kilograms of 30 dogs. So this is a histogram and this is a dot plot. They are both showing the exact same thing. They're both about the weight in kilograms of 30 dogs. So let's make some observations. So from here, how many dogs weigh between 15 to 20? It's between six and eight, seven dogs are weigh between 15 and 20 kilograms. How many dogs weigh between 20 and 25? 10 dogs weigh between 20 and 25. And then you can count out the 10 dogs from here. Um, in here, let's look, let's look down here. How many dogs weigh exactly 15 pounds, 15 kilograms? One dog weighs exactly. But could you find it here? No, you could not find it here. That is why this one, a dot plot, is more specific. You can actually find specific answers. So in the histogram, data values are placed in groups or bins of a certain size. And each group is represented with a bar. The height of the bar tells the frequency for that group. For example, the height of the tallest bar is, let me get my pen going. Would it be pen? I'll use green. The height of this tallest bar is 10. And the bar represents weights from 20 kilograms to less than 25 kilograms. So there are 10 dogs whose weights fall in that group. Similarly, there are three dogs that weigh between 20, and let me use a different pen color so we can see it. They said that there are three dogs that weigh between 25 to less than 30. Right here. Yep. Right here. Between 25 to 30, there are three dogs. So notice that the histogram and the dot plot have a similar shape. The dot plot has the advantage of showing all of the data values, because here it has all of the specific numbers, but histogram is easier to draw and interpret when there are a lot of values or when the values are all different. So we are gonna now answer some questions about it. 
how many dogs are between 30 and 35 kilograms? Which one would you want to use? We could use the dot plot, you could use the histogram, but which one is probably easier to find the answer? I would personally use a histogram here, 30, 35 right here. Let's see how many that is. It is five dogs. If you do not want to use the histogram, we could have used the dot plot. How many are between 30 and 35? Five dogs. How many dogs are 20 kilograms? On here, some of you are going to say, um, it is seven. It is not seven. Remember, these ranges from 20 to 25. If you look right here, it is three dogs weigh exactly 20 kilogram. And that's about it. All right, so that is the uh, study of histograms and dot plots.